What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're talking about cleaning out your stash. Stash hoarding is something that everybody has to conquer in Escape from Tarkov, and with the help of the Wiki and Reddit community, it is now easier than ever, and you can find the links in the description for all the tools that I'm going to mention in this video. The key to clearing out room in your stash is your sanity. You have to just make the hard choice to ditch some of that gear you worked so hard to get. Don't worry though, because depending on your situation, it will be able to help you out in other ways, mainly by keeping your wallet full. If you need help making the most out of your sales, then check out my quick selling guide in the description. The real key to starting to clear out your stash is cases. If you can afford any case that will take up less room than the items you have for it, you should get it. There's loads of cases in the game, but there's a couple that are vital to new players with hoarding issues. The very first case anybody should be buying is a Lucky Scab junk box, but it can only hold loot items. No weapons, mags, ammo, clothes, or food. An item case is the next since it is the one-stop solution here, as it can hold anything including most of the other cases and quadruples its effective stash space. Med cases more than quadruples its effective stash space, but can only hold meds. Ammo cases exponentially increase their effective stash space but only hold ammo. The Mr. Holodilnik Cooler more than quadruples its effective stash space but only holds food and it's self-explanatory from here. Whatever item you have an issue hoarding just buy the case that best works for that item. There's other cases that might help too like the pistol, magazine, or weapons cases but I'd go through the other steps I'm about to talk about before buying these. Once you get to the point of earning tens of millions or completing the endgame tasks you can get the thick cases which have insane space but most of you watching this video will not need to know about these right now. For the rare player out there using a standard account that's mostly filled with money and has not completed the endgame tasks, you have a money case, which of course holds money, and then the thick cases. You can get one free item and weapons case by completing all the tasks in the game, so that is what I suggest you do first, although you can find them on the flea market for tens of millions of rubles, with the current market for a thick weapons case going around 5 to 6 million and a thick item case around 20 million. If you don't even have enough room for a new case, or you can't afford them, here are the next steps. You can clear some workspace, preferably by either picking a caliber or selling equipment. Most players will keep good guns of all calibers so that they can use them later, when actually most of the time it just ends up sitting in your stash for days at least. If you're new to EFT, just pick a caliber and stick to it. You can't go wrong with 545, so that would be my choice because you have early and easy access to the ammo and attachments. Whatever you choose, keep a couple and just sell everything else. Next, if you still need room, then pick your two favorite guns disassemble and sell the others. If you end up losing the first two, then just rebuild two new ones. The hit to your cash will not end up being that bad, and you'll have the room in your stash for other things. At this point, you should try your best to build every gun to your best standards of performance as well. Next is armor. Figure out the two best that you have and sell the rest. Again, the hit to your money won't end up being that bad if you end up losing the first two and just buy two more. Now for the main reason people fill up their stashes, which is the task and hideout items. I've linked some things in the description that will help massively calculate what you need to keep for tasks and hideout. It of course is different for everybody based on how much you have saved, so use your best judgment here. In the description, you will find a list of all the items you will need for your tasks and for your hideout along with a link to Tarkov Tracker to help with tasks and a hideout calculator to figure out what you will need next. Either look at the task and hideout requirements docs and save everything you see there or use the trackers to figure out what you will need from what's left. Example being if you save all the car batteries that you find because you know you'll need it for a task and for the hideout but you have nine saved, sell one because you will only need four for a task and four for the hideout. Depending on how much time and patience you have, you can go through and sell anything that you don't need anymore. If you still have too much stuff, then prioritize the items for tasks and sell the hideout items because the hideout items do not need to be found in raid. If you're somewhere in the middle here, just sell the hideout items you won't need for a long time and make room for the items that you'll need sooner. Example being power supply units. Yes, you need 15 total, but 10 of them are for the Bitcoin farm, which is one of the very last things you can upgrade in your hideout, while five are for the level three generator, which is somewhere in the middle. So only keep five and sell the rest as PSUs take up so much space since they're a two by two item and you won't need them for a while. This is the most confusing concept in the video, so be sure to let me know in the comments if you still don't understand. If it ends up being an issue, I'll make sure to explain it better in the future or at least help you out in the comments. Last but not least is that seemingly infinite stack of backpacks. You do not need them. I don't even wear a backpack these days for plenty of reasons I go into in my loadout video. Now that you have the room in your stash, start selling all those backpacks and remember you can equip one for extra room. You can keep two if you want to go along with your kits and you can even put some of those kits in them to save room since there isn't another backpack in it now. All in all you should keep two full setups at all times and turn the rest into money. What you should be seeing when you look at a full stash is that 2x5 M4 you think you're going to use soon could really just be a 1x1 stack of money. With that money, look at the most effective cases for your current stash and start hoarding cases instead of the infinite stack of backpacks. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video helped you out with your hoarding problems. If it did, please think about leaving a like, commenting, subscribing with the bell, or sharing the video with a friend. 
I really appreciate the people who do. You can check out my EFT Like a Pro playlist to check out all of my short, concise, and informative videos I have on Escape from Tarkov. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.